Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. So recently in the last couple weeks, I've had the itch and it's not the itch to switch. It's actually the itch to declutter and I wanna see how much I can get rid of. It's always like a game and a goal to me. So I hope you guys do it with me. So if you're new here, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below and let's get started. For the last few weeks, I just felt like my house was like caving in on me. I felt like every cabinet and drawer I was opening was just so full and so stuffed and I was just ready to take my house back. So if you feel the same way, I'm going to be sharing lots and tips and tricks throughout this video. Before we get too deep into this closet, I do want to take a moment and thank Walmart for sponsoring today's video. This is the time of year I get our homeschool closet organized and decluttered and get all those school supplies in there. And when you're shopping for the new school year, you shouldn't have to break the bank. And thankfully, Walmart has over a hundred school supplies for under one dollar from all the brands you know and love. This is a perfect time to get stocked up. You want your kids to have enough supplies that they have them at school, because I feel like halfway through the year, you may need to refresh in their crayons or glue, stuff like that. But I feel like you need supplies at home as well. And with all these products, a dollar or less, you can get stocked up. I always have Savannah a creative closet so she can reach everything she needs. I rather her reach for like glue and markers and colored pencils and like technology or TV. And if you you just keep them down low they're gonna have access to all those things so definitely shop now if you don't have kids maybe you have grandkids you can buy up for or maybe you know a teacher that has a classroom and you want to buy some supplies for them to have for their kids As a homeschool mom, sometimes I have some of these products left over, but they're like dirty and old and used. If I'll just spend like 10 bucks and get new erasers and sharpeners and crayons and pencils, it just makes the new year feel like a fresh start. And so we can go in with happy vibes. Um, so we're always shopping Walmart and getting all those supplies. And for only a dollar, you can take your kids in and have them shop with you. I know Savannah's always more excited for school if she gets to pick out her folders and her pencils and her glue it just makes it a lot more fun and at this low low price you don't have to worry about them like overspending or going over the budget Another tip is just to make it really pleasing to the eye so you can get clear bins. I know Home Edit is at Walmart now or use whatever you have, but if they can see their crayons or see their pencils, they're more likely to use it. So like take it out of the containers, put it into clear ones. It's just going to be so nice. And like I mentioned earlier, put it down low in a closet if you don't have like super little ones that are going to color in the walls. But if they're old enough to know better, put them down where they can reach them so they can go use it anytime they want to. I know this makes it easier so when Savannah's ready to start school she knows exactly where to go and she knows where all her supplies are. So I literally refresh this closet every single season. I think you've seen me do it every year since I've started YouTube. We've even been in different houses but every house has like a craft slash school closet so she can get creative and learn at any time that she wants to. So be sure to shop school supplies for under a dollar at walmart.com. I'll have that link down below in my description box or at your local Walmart. I will say they gave me $100 to spend on dollar school supplies and I don't need that many just having one child and being a homeschool mom. So I'm gonna be donating this whole tub of supplies to local teachers in my area. So thanks again to Walmart for sponsoring this video and giving back to local teachers in my area. Thank you. 
So I know decluttering can be really hard on some people. I will say the more you do it, the easier it gets. It becomes like a game and it feels so good to like drop a load off at donations or give it to a friend or have a grad sale and make some extra money for pieces you actually want and love. But the more you clear out, like the lighter your body feels, it's almost like losing weight. And I know that doesn't make sense because it's not on you, it's in your home, but it will free your mind <laughs> so much more than you ever realized. So definitely try it out. I feel like bathrooms and closets are the easiest way to start or less attached to those items. So that's where I'm gonna start. That's where you should start. So let's get going. If you don't do these often, you should, especially if you've been in the same house for a while, things just make their way in and you don't realize it. Um, a good little tip that I learned is to stand back and take a picture and then look at the picture and you'll see how cluttered your house is. There's something about you see it better like in a photo or on your phone than with your like eyes in real life. So definitely do that and see if it works for you. I think that the reason that works is we get so used to just clutter in our house, we stop even noticing it's there. But once you see a picture, you kind of pinpoint it more, you're kind of out of your space, even though you're looking at the space, it's not like in the same lighting and you're not just standing there, you're actually looking at your phone or a photo. So I've heard this a million times and I think it really does help. So just kind of go through your house, stand back and take pictures and see what you think. It might be fine. It may not work, but maybe it does for a few of you and it'll help you just see the areas you need to declutter or work on. Once I finish decluttering a space, I like to go back in and organize it or tweak it. Most areas in my house already has some type of system, so I've organized it in the past and I just need to refresh it. Once you organize, it doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way. It just means you have to go and fix it occasionally, just refresh it, reset it. So I like to color code my clothes and then I also have them separated from like short sleeve and like long sleeve. So I have all my sweaters put up right now because it is so stinking hot here in Oklahoma. But then I have all like my tank tops and short sleeves down below and those are all color coded. Typically I wear black every day, just like in this video, I just feeling a little frisky and I have like tan on, but most days I just wear all black. So that's why you see so much of that in my closet. So I don't know if you can tell right here, but I got rid of a ton. I moved everything to my living room just so you can see like overall what it's going to look like when I'm finished, but it feels better. But let me take you in there so you can see all the items I got rid of. Here are all the pieces I got rid of. So it's basically like 12 tops and 11 bottoms and this pile of jewelry. So I feel really good so far how it's going. Um, so let's keep moving. Now that we can check closet off the list, we're gonna go into my bathroom. I have been itching to go through like all of my like nail polishes and skincare products. I feel like I have stuff sent to me. I'm buying stuff. My mom sends me stuff. My sister, we just like switch things out and I just feel like I'm like exploding inside these cabinets back here. So I'm so excited to go through these and I wanna see how much I can get rid of. So when I open them up, it's just pretty and simple, clean and organized. One of my best tips is just to be ruthless when you're decluttering. Now, if it's something you use all the time, keep it in your house. But if it's not something you've used in a while, really think about if you need it. I know most of the reason everybody hangs on to something is I might need it later, but typically you don't. But if that is your train of thought, grab a tub or grab a few tubs, put it all in there, put it out in the garage, put it up in a closet, put it in the attic. And if you don't go back and need it within the next like two to six months, then you know you're not gonna need it. So that's just kind of the safe way of doing it. But typically if it's like out of sight, out of mind, you don't need it. Now, if you go in that tub to get something out, it does mean it needs to stay. So that's just an easy way of doing the decluttering process. 
Um, to get motivated, the best thing you can do is like watch shows, even look at like photos on Pinterest and see the style you want and notice if they have a lot of decor out. Notice what they have in there. Maybe it is a lot of decor, maybe it's not. Then you kind of know what you're working towards. Another thing you can do is watch YouTube videos. I know I have a lot of posted and I know a ton of other girls on here that has decluttering and organizing content. And just watching that like the night before or just the morning of really will get you inspired and motivated to go through your house and just create this very clean space. If I do have any girls on here that creates like cleaning content, especially if it's like decluttering or organizing, definitely link your channel down below in the comments section. Then anybody here that's looking for more videos like this to keep you motivated, maybe you just want to turn it on while you're decluttering your house, definitely click those links down below and support those ladies. Now that I have this all done, I probably should have taken it before. I didn't even think about it, but it was just a hot mess. Already out of this cabinet, I've cleared out this much stuff. That pile over there, I just have to put away somewhere else. But when I used to use my lashes like a different brand, it used to come with this glue and I used a different glue and I just kept saving it for some reason. And now I have all this like, lash eyeliner glue like that's excessive i don't need it all of this stuff so it feels good to like just clear out the trash clear out stuff that's old stuff i'm not using so let's look at this one i don't think this one's near as bad it just needs some tweaking maybe a little bit of decluttering so let's go through this cabinet now So I was filming this and I actually have like a window in my bathroom and it was like a cloudy day so you're gonna see it like get bright and dark because this is kind of like a time lapse. I've sped it up and there's just like clouds to cover the sun and then it goes away so sorry for the lighting it was just one of those days outside. So here is how we are looking. I know there's still a lot of stuff in here, so I like to buy up on some things when they're on sale or when I can get a discount. Um, so I have like multiple, you know, dry shampoo and hairsprays. My sister is actually a hairstylist, so when she comes in, I can go um, to like the beauty store with her and get stuff at cost, so I like to just buy up. So when she is in town, I can make it last until she comes back again. Um, I have a lot of different like kind of beauty products because Savannah's always having me try different things and this is all the stuff I'm kind of loving. These are all makeup bags and stuff with traveling. This is kind of my overflow and extra items up here. Um, when we buy toothpaste, we buy it from Sam, so there's <laughs> always a lot of it. But at least the stuff I'm not using, I have cleared out. It's organized, I can see everything. It looks so much better right here is everything that I'm getting rid of out of that cabinet. So I feel like we're making a dent. Now I'm gonna go through these. I don't think they're gonna be terrible, but while I'm in here, I definitely wanna go through them. Makeup is one of those areas, it's kinda harder for me to get rid of because I like to change up occasionally. Like I wanna know if I wanna switch my lipstick even though I haven't worn that color in a while, I might need it one day. So I feel like with makeup, I give myself a little more grace, but I try to be ruthless on everything else. Now, if it's old or cracked or broken or expired, it definitely needs to go. Or if it's a color that I know I haven't grabbed in a while, 
definitely toss it, but there are certain areas in your house you can show yourself grace. You don't have to like get rid of everything, but just try not to keep things that you're not touching at all. I know you want the best for me. Your intentions are good. I want back to my history. Into my own. We are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and condense a lot of this um, so I can take it to the living room. So I'm gonna just put it in like the empty boxes and bags. Now in real life, I wouldn't be keeping all of these piles. Um, I just wanted you to see how much even in my house I'm able to get rid of, but this might be a good technique for you. Maybe you're not filming it, but you need the reward system to see how much you're actually getting rid of. So if you want to keep a pile, so at the end of the day or end of the hour after decluttering, you can see how much you've gotten rid of, do it. You don't have to be filming to do it. Be proud of yourself. Take a picture, send it to your girlfriend. They'll be proud of you. Hey, if it works, do it. All we've done is my closet and bathroom and we have done a lot. But now I wanna go work on my um, just like nightgowns in my bedroom and slippers and stuff like that that I have out in my bedroom and then that whole side of the house will be done. Before I work on these, I wanted to show you this so much. I mean, it's organized. This is the main drawer. And some of the stuff I use can be put up here. Basically, I gravitate towards like my favorite nightgowns anyway. So there's a ton of sets in here I've bought that I'm not wearing or only wore a few times like this one. So I need to just go through this. My <laughs> pajama drawer has never looked this bad. I'm really good about like not having too much. And for some reason, something happened. So let's work on this. I've never been one to feel guilty when I'm decluttering. If it's something I've used and loved and it's got holes or it's torn, I got my money's worth out of it. If it's a piece I can donate or give away, then someone else is gonna get to use something that's just been sitting in my drawer or in my closet developing dust. So never ever feel guilty. Just do what you have to do. You either got your money's worth or you get to share it with someone else that can love and enjoy the item that you're getting rid of. This drawer obviously didn't change much, um, but that's nice and organized. This one <laughs> looks a ton better. I know there's a few open spots there, but some of my stuff's in the laundry, so I know they'll fit there. These I'm a little curious on. I like having them, but I don't wear them often, but I'm gonna go ahead and go one more round of <laughs> decluttering before I get rid of those. And then if I'm not wearing them, I'll do it next time just since there's still room for it. But these are all like my pajama pants. That's a set, that's a pair of pants. These are all sets, like long sleeve with shorts. And then right here, I have a few other shorts that will fit in those once I get laundry caught up. Now that I have this room done, it feels so much better. So if you can't declutter your whole house in one day, that's just fine. Make a list and slowly tackle it. Like I got my bedroom, bathroom, and closet done, and it's been less than an hour. So if that's all you have, stop and do it the next day. I have some more time because Savannah's about to go to dance, and so I have some just like kid-free time to get done. So I'm gonna keep going, but don't feel like you have to get it all done in one day space it out if you need to start that pile it really will keep you motivated and you will want to keep doing it um, from my experience whatever I do today does carry over in tomorrow it's not one of those when I wake up I'm like I'm done once I start decluttering I don't stop until I've gone through my entire house <laughs> Now it is kitchen time. I honestly don't think there's a lot in here. I feel like I'm good about getting rid of stuff in the kitchen. Plus Savannah and I just did like a big declutter in here. She had a ton of cups she wasn't using and they're so hard to store. So we've already been through all of those, but it's really smart to go through those areas that you don't think you need to declutter because I'm sure you can at least find one or two things. So I'm gonna open up every cabinet and every drawer and hopefully find something in here to get rid of.
there wasn't a ton in the kitchen, but I'm glad that I was able to get rid of just like a handful of things. Um, I don't know if I showed you with all of my nightgowns in here. Savannah had just a pile, so I put them in here. I went ahead off camera and went through like my underwear and rolls and socks and put all of that in here. So we're making a huge dent. The next place I wanna go through is my laundry room. So we're gonna head down that way, but so far I'm like really proud of myself. I feel like medicine is something you should be decluttering probably pretty often or at least once a year. And I honestly can't remember the last time um, I decluttered medicine and I know my bin is just about to explode. I also wanna work on like my essential oils and some stuff like that. I've got bins over here in the mud side of the room. I just wanna go through those, make sure there's nothing in there I can get rid of. If I can, I'm gonna toss it, donate it, whatever I can, but anything to like empty out those bins and give them some breathing room. Hoping that you will be mine Turn my life around Another tip when decluttering, I try to never declutter someone else's space. So like my husband's drawers, my daughter's drawers, if I'm decluttering, they can do it with me or on their own. But unless it's like a small kid and you're like decluttering broken toys and stuff, that I totally get. But if it's like your husband's space, let them be a part of it or let them do it. Also with these like family spaces with all this medicine, everything that I was gonna get rid of, I had my husband go through like off camera. I didn't wanna throw away or toss something that he was going going to need because to me it may not be important but to him it might be so just keep your like family members that are living with you um, in the front of your mind because you never want to get rid of something that's theirs um, so always ask first gonna lie that is a little exhausting but it's always so rewarding to get it done now I do have a huge mess to clean up behind me so if you want to stay to the very end I'll show me tidying that up but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope it got you motivated to work on something in your house even if it's not a whole house go grab one Walmart sack and fill it up either with trash or donation anything just to get it gone. And I do wanna thank again, Walmart for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna leave their links and everything that I showed you today down below in the description box. So definitely check them out and show them some love. I know you guys are already shopping at Walmart anyways, cause they're incredible and they save us so much money. So hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. See you next time.